Good luck. Welcome back. This is week 109 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Um, I admit, I briefly spied on the game earlier this morning and saw that this opponent did play a bishop exchange. I didn't check which side of that position they played. Um, but I'm in a mood to play some sharp stuff today. So that's what we're going to play. It is the sharpest opening I can consider. Um, so yeah, I've had many opponents play this uh, pawn twice in the opening. That's commonly referred to this as the static rook. This can frequently be joined by a silver um, and by some pressure on this long diagonal here. Uh, to offset said pressure, um, I can block said diagonal and use my rook on it and even start to make threats in this general direction. Um, so this is nothing new. I'm a bit torn as to whether to move the silver first or the rook first. Our opponent has not applied any pressure in the center yet. I think moving the silver seems reasonable, even though I've not moved the rook yet. Um, perhaps I'll decide to move my rook, um, play opposing rook strategy instead. I don't know. Um, let me double check that I have the correct overlay, and I do. All right, so our opponent threatens to bring this silver up and attack at this bishop. I vaguely threaten to chase this bishop, but this attack doesn't tend to prevail. Um, another threat is they bring the silver here and then there, and then attack along the third file. So these sorts of things do tend to occur. Um, it's nothing for me to fear. It's just things for me to consider and be aware of. So one possibility is to bring the silver in front of the bishop to try to discourage said advances. Um, but yeah, they are correct in noting I've not constructed my castle yet. Okay, they prevent me from advancing further in this direction in any event. Um, I'm really having second thoughts as to whether my rook belongs in the center or might belong uh, playing opposing rook or some other strategy. I'm not sure. Their king is still in the center. They have this file covered. Um, they have no pressure on this pawn. Hmm. Interesting. Still, if this pawn breaks through, well, it's not going to break through is the point. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to play my rook to the center file. Rather than trying to micro-optimize this and maybe save half of a tempo somewhere, we're going to play the rook to the center and get the king the heck out of here. Um... And the opponent probably follows suit, but doesn't necessarily follow suit on this. They do follow suit. Mm 
Okay, I think this is reasonable. They'll probably follow suit once more. I debated do I want to move up the silver and tuck the king behind and try to save a tempo, but that looks dangerous. Like, it's best for me to just build a castle to uh, protect my king than to try anything overly tricky here. Um... And yeah, there's no reason for me to differ from this either. So I've pushed my king to a slightly safer space than where their king is at. Um, in many, many cases, I push back against this. This might be yet another case where I do so. I'm not crazy about it, because... Oh, I don't know. Mm. Okay, let's do this for my peace of mind. And it occurs to me that if the silver moves up twice, my bishop can dodge it. And um, interest, or if they try something overly aggressive, my bishop activates this way with their generals having defended their king and all. Um, so I don't have a quick attack that prevails here. Um, they continue trying to activate their pieces. I protect my king at least once. And... Here, I still not decided if my gold is moving to the right or to the left. Um, I wonder what castle they're constructing. This blocks their bishop. Hmm. We learned the other day that I should not be greedy and try to snatch this pawn. Um, in some cases, the opponent even wants it to be captured. Um, interesting opening. My opponent and I are playing all these passing moves against each other. A tempo here, a tempo there. So I don't want to block my bishop. That, that I do want to use the square, maybe. Um, but they might also want to move their bishop up here. All right, we're pushing the odd file pawns. This seems risky on account of my king being on this diagonal. But there's some merit to it as well. Um, I really, really don't want to block my bishop with this pawn advance, but like my opponent keeps begging me to do some something, and that seems to be the file where I'm strongest. Um, 
But it's so close to my king. Okay, let's just claim some more space over here. Hopefully that's not, like this seeds the edge, C-E-D-E-S, it gives up control of this square and also gives up control of the square on which it stands, but gets pressure into the opponent's side of the board. Um, Okay. I block my bishop, but they've already blocked this diagonal once. I've already blocked it once. It's not the most, it's not a candidate where the position's about to open. I can push this pawn. I'm pushing all of my pawns, and it feels scary. Look at me blocking my bishop so many different ways. But I think there's merit to this. So I'm able to double on this edge file. I don't see where they expand their position further. Yes, they could exchange pawns in the center, but then the knight's immediately prone. They could move the silver first to try to cover the knight's head and then exchange pawns in the center. And maybe that's what I missed. I just had the dreadful thought that, like, what if um, this isn't recorded? But it is. Wait, if the silver moves, we have some interesting tactics everywhere. I still have not withdrawn my rook because I don't know if they're planning some sort of aggressive intention here, which would require or which would recommend that I move my rook and then build a stronger castle here. So like if I play the rook here to file three and then drop back the bishop, um, that might be more successful than leaving the rook in the center. Even though they're 
planning and pushing this pawn if I take I don't want to drop the pawn back here if I retreat the rook though like where is this gold going to go My whole position is extremely loose. Feels so dangerous. Well, the dangerous bit is that I don't know what I'm doing. Pawn, 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 silver. Pawn, pawn, lance, lance. Wait, pawn, pawn, lance. They're not going to take that kind of drop. Takes, takes, drop. They have a lance. Capture a lance this night is loose. Yeah, I'm not seeing those tactics prevail for me any other way. And while I'm not crazy about this, this isn't what I dreamed of. Um, I don't know how else to proceed.
All right, here goes nothing. Well, that went it quickly, didn't it? I don't think my reasoning is entirely faulty. Hmm. Sanju I changed my mind like five times toward the end of that. Um, it helps being able to read variations. Since they have a pawn in hand, I can't just retreat this way. Yeah, I could push this and it would be difficult for me to use my bishop. It's still difficult here, but it's possible. Um, thirty there we go. So, there are many ways I could proceed with attacking here. Um, if this gold abandons the head of the castle, we might see a lot of tactics. There might be some problems with that move. I know there's advantages to it, but it's not a perfect move. Sanjubio.
40秒50秒1234567891秒If the silver retreats, I can take this. If the silver abandons the rook, expect more tactics. Again, lots and lots of changing my mind there. It's not an easy position. Rook takes is confusing. Um... All right, if I don't push the silver now, it's never going to get pushed. But why do I have to push it? Where's the fire? Okay, this, this is hanging. That's kind of a fire. Not really. Yeah, this is actually a fire. So, if they try moving the knight, then this gold is hanging. Ergo, if the knight moves... Oh, well. Well then. Blocking the knight. Sure. Why not? I was going to say, though, they could be blocking um, well, this rook's... Oh, I see. My rook's hanging. I mean, that's... Hmm. A turn ago, I wasn't so concerned about that. Hmm.
If you can hear the thunder outside, don't mind it. This looks interesting. Goodness, didn't expect that. Sounds like I should wrap up this game soon, shouldn't I? <laughs> 